February is Black History Month, and the Minnesota Timberwolves and Lynx are launching an essay contest for students to write about an American black leader who inspires them. Brad Ryder is the Vice President of Communications for the Timberwolves, joining us now. Brad, great to have you with us. Good to be here again. Thank you. Tell us why the Lynx and the Timberwolves got involved with this effort. Well, you know, the, the two players who are more intimately involved in this, Jamal Crawford and Re Rebecca Brunson, they wanted a con they wanted to do something to inspire you know a large group of kids and obviously you know we have winners in this contest which we'll get to and how people can enter but through the contest I think it inspires you know kids a lot of kids from all over the state to uh, to identify that one person who has inspired them and to be able to research that and to be able to do a project for that for this contest, you're asking students to submit essays 500 to 750 words, 6th through 12th grade, and then you've got winners in middle school and high school level. Yep. But it's really cool. After that, they're, they have to submit video submissions. Yeah, we're going to How does that work exactly? Yeah, we're going to pare it down, uh, the front office folks at the Timberwolves and Lakes, we're going to pare it down to a finalist list of three in that middle school category and three in the high school category. And then once we uh, identify those, then they're going to be asked to submit a, a video submission of their of their essay. Jamal will judge the the uh, middle school age group, and Rebecca will judge the high school age group. Oh, cool. And then the winners uh, will be invited to a Timberwolves game and a Lynx game. Well, I tell you, this uh, last spring break, my family went to the new museum, the Smithsonian Museum yep. in Washington D.C. of African American history. Yep. And when you think about Black History Month, that museum kind of gave you the picture of like. You have people who are inspiring in athletics and music and business and civil rights. Yeah. But you also Government. have family stories too. Yeah. Like this could be yeah. anything. I, I'm glad you hit on that because it doesn't have to be an athlete. It doesn't have to be a teacher. It can be somebody in your family. It can be somebody, you know, some in somebody else's family. Yeah. It can be one of your friends' you know, cousins or somebody that's inspired you through the family that you live in. Mm. Yeah. And I love if you win, you get to sit courtside for the pregame warm up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for the Timberwolves game, the, the prize is that you get uh, encore recognition. And then for the Lynx game this summer, um, whoever wins is going to be able to bring their entire class to a game and meet Rebecca Brunson after wow. the game. Wow. That's so fun. Yeah. Well, and you think of inspirational leaders, for, for many of us, it, it is the athlete mm -hmm. right. that sets the example, not just on the court, but also in the community. Right. And that's, like I said, that's why these two wanted to kind of create this sort of a contest the way it is because it's not all about the three finalists yeah. and, the, and the person who wins but you know if they can get 500 to 1,000 kids to write in oh, essays gosh. how powerful is that? Yeah. Think you about know. who inspires them. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. Really awesome. powerful. Yeah. Very good. Brad, thank you Brad. Thank you. for having me again. We have the information yep. about where to submit those essays at WCCO.com slash links and can't wait to see what the young people come up with. These yeah, stories are going to be, be fun. great. Yeah. Brad thank you. Thanks.